when I went to preach for Archbishop Duncan Williams I had an opportunity to go to their prayer mountain where they are building as a platform to intercede for the nations and when I got there I had the opportunity to teach and pray with his major personal intercessors my goodness you think you can pray you meet those guys believe me when I tell you ah no 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 when when those guys you will know that those guys were that's their life oh intercessors they are just giving the burden over nations God can say now Congo all they need to do is to drop the prayer request in the middle of them and they will pieces it like you are slicing fish you will just hear that someone is dying someone else is rising there is a control room in the spirit can I tell you this ladies and gentlemen Nigeria is not as bad as it is it's a reflection of the absence of strategic intercessors you want to command salvation over territories let's start with Abuja start with your region raise men and women by the spirit who understand prayer not blind prayer of dissipating energy that does not produce result that's not intercession strategic prayer with understanding bring forth your strong reason saith the Lord over this territory you write the names of your family members one by one and you wake up every night you are praying Lord salvation Lord healing Lord restoration Lord deliverance he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint can I tell you this there are certain levels of power and grace I have seen in my life it did not come by asking directly it came as a product of standing in the place of prayer for people there are covenants that I have with God today that came at the instance of certain levels of intercession there are things God will never tell you in the open you will have to become an intercessor pastors pray for your members don't just speak over them can I tell you koinonia hear me you are spiritual people go and ask God the decree to which I pray for you don't think my preaching here is the end of the ministry what you see me do on the pulpit is only 30 percent of my ministry to you my real assignment to you and my my real ministry to you aside from teaching you the word of God is to pray while you are sleeping know that there is somebody awake for your sake praying and crying unto God don't think I'm a politician doing some manifesto here Lord touch my people Lord change their lives sometimes you send me text messages and I don't reply you don't be angry just because I did not reply you it does not mean I did not pray about it there are times I just drop the phone there because I can't reply everything and I lie down before my maker and I say Lord you sent me let these people not have shame and reproach when I sit down here and hear certain testimonies praise the Lord this one just happened I just sit quietly as if I don't know anything about it but make no mistakes ladies and gentlemen this man you see by the privilege of God's grace and I do not say it to boast if you have never believed that anybody prays for you believe it today believe it today believe it today believe it today that is why you see as a man of God when you have time for everything it's a sign that something is wrong with your ministry are we together yes everything you have time to go for every occasion you are at wedding in the morning birthday in the afternoon some thanksgiving in the where what prayer is not something that you do in a rush there are times that it takes two hours to just say thank you thank you two hours thank you Jesus and you are there lying down 
and an atmosphere of worship like this your eyes sleepy but you remember that you love the people you are sent to can i tell you this a good shepherd lays down his life god will not trust you with members just because you want it it must show in your heart i speak respectfully to servants of god listening forget about all these wanting people to just give you seed you announce your birthday one year in 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 in, in um, what, what they call it now one year in advance settle down and do what god called you to do the members are not stupid when god blesses them through you they know what to do to you can i tell you this demanding money from members is wrong like to say come and give me money that's not your assignment they didn't call you you bless them and pray for them and let god direct them and they will surprise you members are not greedy just do your work go and ask him i don't just love koinonia i love you you are koinonia